Where are we going? We're going to get my dream boat. <laughs> Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Let's find an adventure. Alright guys. Here's the big one. So we just left Washington DC. That was a blast. If you haven't seen that video, here it is right there. Make sure you go check that one out. First time I've ever been to Washington DC. It was cool. Now we're on to our next adventure. Speed limit enforced by aircraft. They're gonna get you. What the hell? So we are going to an undisclosed location. You can't see this. Right. This road, every time I look at the map, there's accidents on it. Because I've been planning this for a little while and looking at things. Always accidents on this road. And after getting on this road, I can see why. Because people around here can't drive. I, uh, that's one reoccurring theme of this whole road trip that we're doing. But, where are we going? We're going to get my dream boat. <laughs> what is it? I'm not going to let you know until we get there. But, it's been a journey. My wife surprised me with it on Father's Day which was June 19th. It's currently August 20th. And we're just now going to get it. It's been a lot of loops and hurdles. And... But the boat market, it's hard to find. If you're looking for a specific boat, it's hard to find it. Because they COVID and shutdowns. And... There's a five minute slowdown in two miles. You are still on the best route. This whole world we're living in. But found one, finally going to get it, and we're on our way. This is the one that I found. I know, you found it. I said you surprised me with it. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited. Hey Mike, you excited to go get the boat? Uh-huh. What are we going to do on the boat? Go fishing. What else? in the water mm -hmm. like tubing mm -hmm. swimming yep so I will check in with you guys a little later it's gonna take us forever to get there because people can't drive in Virginia apparently so stay tuned and already we are stopped Not a road trip person. How was that highway in Pennsylvania? What? It was terrible. What was it terrible? It was a highway to fucking nowhere, and then the only thing to get is Sunoco gas. Oh Every 86 miles. It's a drama. Drama mama. You're the drama. see what happens made it to Virginia we're at the pickle barrel for dinner what I just saw the blue tail wizard oh the blue tail lizard where did it go buddy daddy missed it I've it's seen I've seen him before don't is it comfortable yeah she almost killed us, so we're at the pickle barrel for lunch.
that it? Oh, it's right. Oh, no, that's a red and green one. Almost red and green. A red and black one. Maybe some changes. Like, here's the gold, but then like, it's okay. I don't see it. Hopefully we're at the right to Bellas. So, made it to Pickle Barrel, as you saw. We went and checked in the hotel, dropped out for stuff, took a little potty break. Now we are Heading to Wegmans or Wegmans, I don't know, some grocery store that my wife is obsessed with. So we're going to go check out a grocery store. You've been to Wegmans. Give us a thumbs up because you know it's the best. And then we're going to go get my boat. So I'll be back with you in a minute. You know it has to, you know that we're doing something special because it's raining. So we just left the grocery store. You're not looking at you, you're looking at me. I know. I'm talking to you We just left the grocery store. Was it any different than any other grocery store? Michael, how's your cookie? Good. Did you like the grocery store? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was it better than the grocery stores at home? Mm-hmm. Better than Meyer? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. cookie. It's a grocery store, folks. It's uh -huh. a nice grocery store, but it's a grocery store. This You're gonna say. get a whole bunch of hate comments talking shit about Wegman. Probably gonna get hate comments talking shit about how people drive in Virginia and Pennsylvania too, but I don't care. Because I'm a rebel. Ideally, that's not perfectly out here because it's raining. It's not raining, it's sprinkling. We're hot, we need to cool off. But we finally made it. Throw it out, yeah. Okay, now where are you gonna wipe your hands? Lick your fingers off. <laughs> Finally, you're going with the licking finger plant. <laughs> Finally, you go with the licking finger plant. Here we go. Look at how pretty she looks. Let's take a look at this. Man, even pretty. Oh, look at every square inch. <laughs> you didn't come all the way down here to not get a boat. <laughs> How long was the drive? Go much past. Um, it was eight hours to get. Ooh, hard work. Another two past that. Jeez. You didn't crack it all the way. The only thing you got there was eight feet of boat with you. Yeah, yeah that was bad. Because yeah, the whole thing that you were listening to was like a little crazy. Okay, Daddy. Is it rapid? The Ranger. Oh, it's a rabbit. No, he was just like a nervous wreck and it cracked the land because he didn't have much PTO and we had a fire in the basement. He didn't have much PTO and we had a fire in the basement. He didn't have much PTO and we had a fire in the basement. He didn't have much PTO and we I do think in the long run, we 
things when it comes to transporting that um, to the phone from, you know, shipping companies, they're either hit or miss, even brand new territory. Some will be two days, some will be six months. Right? Yeah. Uh, our sales manager, shout out to the sales manager. He's trying to get a, his hometown in Missouri, and he's trying to get his old car shipped down to him. Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> There's a lot of like, you see this? What is it, this? It's like, I don't know, it looks like where they the paint's in great shape again. This is like where they here. stapled into the boat or something. Be able to get in it. Can we get, get in it? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I put the ladder there. It's kind of a pain to climb up. Over Michael, the you want to get in? <laughs> Careful. This is the. Ladder for everybody. Sorry, you know you're fine. You can see we did get that fourth seat put in there. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Light slant to the floor, floor so the water all drains down. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking, but just give me a second. Is he full down? Are the captain's chairs full? Yes, they do. Oh, you gotta give them some. Oh. This is not how you trailer it with the bimini top on there. It actually lays all the way down, but I stuck it up so we can walk around easily. Okay. We're going through everything today. So, this is the first year the other night putting the super nice fitting stereo systems on there. Even if they're using that with the suitcase. Just days, I realized why the uh, factory told us that the hatch cover would not work here. They yeah. had this circle of plate that goes around it to fill the lip. So your hatch you could put a cover on there, but it'd be laying on top of it. It would not make it much. That was a change that they had made for the slobber. That's going to follow standard. So this is one thing we changed. So you do have your overall battery switch right down here. It's an on and off, which is great. So you don't have to worry about a power draw or anything like that. Got the new charger and we actually stuck a nicer one in here than that was originally on it. NOCO is the number one uh, brand in the in the battery charging game right now, quite frankly. <laughs> Horn works. Horn works. Uh, again, that's what the six figure boats are using and all that good stuff there. Everything's been checked. So everything and this is hooked to we actually extended the leads and all that good stuff. So it's charging controlling motor batteries when you plug it in, as well as your cranking battery. on okay. So it's oh, nice. Batteries are there in there. So you just have one here. The trolling motor batteries are up front. Oh, cool. Yes, sir. So there was something on here, right? So believe it or not, that is actually from sun, just period. Oh, it is okay. not stain or anything. Eventually, all your carpet on the boat will be that shade of gray. Okay. That is just what, unfortunately, what the sun does to the carpet on these boats. We scrubbed no, everything and actually put a bunch of degreaser to make sure it wasn't anything. It's not an actual stain. That's yeah, unfortunately it, what the sun does to it. That's, I mean, it's going to have more back on a couple of years. <laughs> Mike, hold on. We're going to test everything. So this boat here with the graphs on them, they are networked together. So you need a couple of transducers. You can get with the steering wheel, but it's not. Uh, so the two graphs on here are networked together. So you only have one transducer, which is nice. Can't add something else if you wanted to down the road or something like that. But so it's one transducer and both graphs where you put the transmitters. So, oh, cool. A lot, of, a lot of people don't like having one of the trolling motor because wires get caught, uh, all sorts of different things, and all of a sudden you're 
on the low curve where you have not the place food and drinks and so on that small there. Now these graphs do have the capability of side scan, which is the next step up when it comes to transducers. But again, it's about $363 to swap over to a side scan transducer. Uh, there are out of stock everywhere in the world right now, quite frankly, but you can get on a waiting list, the list essentially if you did want to swap out to that. It's nice that you don't have to buy a whole new unit to upgrade to that feature. That's what you decide to really willing to do. Uh, down scans, the preferred the preferred style of sonar, unless you are exclusively bass fishing and shallow. That, that's the big difference between the two. Down scan for your deep water, I imagine where y'all are at. It's some deeper water. <laughs> And what, boy? So we did replace several of those switches on the control panels, what they call it, down to the uh, home starboard side of the knee. So everything does work. Uh, we replaced the live well pump, the front live well is. And we got, like I told you, we got a whole new engagement set for it, so the brand new keys for all the stuff we want. Is there any way we can, like, test everything? Yeah, you can go ahead and fire it up, then pull the power button. It should. The master power should be directly linked to it. Sometimes they're linked to accessory switches. Nope. It's just linked to that battery switch in the back, so if that's on, you can do it. Um, so it's not going to give you any sort of real oh, reading yeah. or anything, just being out of water and on concrete. Mm -hmm. Concrete, fun concrete, and uh, lead is the one thing that these sonar, these transducers can't actually read through. Except we're gonna, I'll let you do that later. So you can see nice detailed mapping. It is, it is reading and all that good stuff there. You want to see the map? Your pages button up top here is how you go to your menu and all that stuff. I've got some cheaper Lorances yeah, on my. So you're familiar with a little boat. The Elite FS, I'm sure, I thought they were the TI2s, which is what was originally on the quote. Apparently they were swapped out. So these are, the uh, FSs are only one year old. That is the latest and greatest from uh, Lowrance, actually. So oh. that, it's the Fishing System oh. Live is what they call it. So you could add- So the, these are the FSs? Yes, FS Lives. So you could add the active target to it and stuff like that. They're about a thousand bucks more oh. than the you original know. TI2. You know, you know, trust me. I, I saw that on the quote when I sent it to y'all and then I looked at it and I was like, this is, <laughs> these are the brand new ones. Are we able to test all these switches, make sure everything yeah, works? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, after, we can, well, let's see. So we know the horn works. Yeah. Nav and anchor light's there. You can either select, you know, nav or anchor light, all that good stuff. I'm trying to remember what that one is. This is your live well switch. And then that's just a simple on off. The light goes off on purpose there. Back one there, uh, or I'm sorry, that's the front one. The reason they do that, I actually asked Ranger about it because it was a question the first owners of this boat had. People forget that their front live well's on, so they burn up the pumps. You cut one live well on, you expect it to, and you know what you're doing. You know, you're very familiar with it. People cut the front one on and they'll leave it on all the time. So that's why they let, they keep the light on there. So you know okay. that people are, you know, that you're not just gonna be burning up the pump all day. So that was a, that was a fit and finish feature from uh, Ranger there. And then this one here is your courtesy lights. You can see it lit up under, at nighttime, it will make a difference. Yeah. And, and here in this bright light here, uh, you have your radio control. These are gonna be your aerators and stuff like that. Can we try and turn it on and everything? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, one more. You go ahead. Should be it. Yep. And then with the live wells, can we make sure that the pumps are? Can yeah, I, if you want to hear it, yes, yeah. absolutely. That's the only, unfortunately, so, I can't stick a hose to it or it's anything. A, it's a lot of. All right, that one's on. I want to And then the front one's this right here, right? Yeah. That's on. Okay. Stereo cuts on. And then this one here, I'm trying to remember what That's that was. Bill, yes, you're absolutely right. Then the this, ex hey Ben, do you remember what the first accessory switch? Ben's actually the one that rewired one of these switches, oh. so he's going to be uh, able to talk about that. Second, I know the second accessory switch is it's grounded out, but it's expandable. It's not attached to anything, so if oh. you want, it lets you customize it essentially. That last switch, um, but that accessory switch, I don't. It's if you want to add a 12 volt power, you know, powered item to it and then so, hook it to yeah. that switch directly. If you wanted to do like track lighting or something, yep. you know, 
So that's the second one, right? Yes. Not, and now the, the first, first one, one. I, it, that's actually the 12 volt plugs on. Okay. That's, yep. yeah, okay. Oh, these over here? Yes. Yeah, so those, those plugs are. So if you ever want to add anything, it'll go through this one. It's already grounded, uh, it just doesn't have power to it, which is why it's not lighting up. Okay. What the? Where's the bilge pump at? Back here, right? Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see that without taking this back plate off. It's uh, with you. yeah, it's it's down under here, down center. Yeah. Um, for six six it is a twenty-two hundred gallon per hour bilge pump. Plenty of. All right, I can hear. All right, and then the nav lights. You said we're here. Yes. So that's top on the top row. You got the anchor light there. You got anchor, have it. Anchor both working for you just fine. Courtesy lights. Yes, sir. You can see the wheels. What are these? Aerators. Yeah, I hear them, baby. Well, what's this and this versus? Those are your live well fills versus the aerators. Right okay, there. so this fills it and this yes, aerates it. Okay. Oh, can you see it works? Now you do have tilt and trim on this uh, steering setup as well. It is hydraulic, which is great. So if you, it's very easy. You can feel how hey. uh, that, that's pretty much how it's needed to move. Um, and then there's a button on the bottom. You push that towards the console, and then you can oh. that. What was the uh... Smartcraft pages up top there? So you can see the mode and plus and minus buttons there, and it says troll above it. Mm -hmm. So with those, when the motor's on, you can actually hit the uh, plus or minus on there, and it will speed up. It will jump your motor to a certain RPM, so it sets a trolling mode for you essentially. So you can let go of the wheel. It's not going to auto pipe, you know, it's not going to steer for you, but it will run at a certain speed without you having to be on the gearbox or anything. They put that on these deeper V-boats because, you know, they generally use more trolling applications and things like that. And then you can switch through modes. It'll show you fuel economy, different things on the digital display. So you have two times the gauges and only four. You know, it gives you a bunch of different ones that you wouldn't normally have without uh, purchasing them separately. What's this one here? It says PSI. Pressure gauge is to show you uh, if water is cycling correctly to cool it itself so you will see when we fire it up today you will see the p-stream coming out um, literally the, the terminology is p-hole i'm sure you're familiar you know <laughs> but it's so it will show you, you without you having to look back to see if water is cooling the engine you will actually be able to just look at that gauge and if it has pressure at all you know water is getting through uh your engine because with these bigger motors the where the water's coming out is on the back over here it's really hard to see just by turning around. You can't always see it, so you don't even have to worry about it. What motor is this? Thing? This is the 225 uh, Mercury four stroke, and with the four blade stainless prop, which is custom match to this motor, this motor here. Uh, it, it, it's a perfect setup. Uh, with when tested, it was 52 miles an hour with two people and uh, a quarter tank of gas in it, so you can definitely get some speed out of it for sure. I'd rather do it before I start. Okay. Let me go grab a couple things real quick. 
Sorry, I thought that's what this was. No, yeah, you're sorry. <laughs> All righty. I just signed my life away. But I got a pretty sweet boat. Gonna pick it up in the morning. We're gonna head back to Michigan tomorrow. Didn't want to take a boat all over the place tonight because we gotta go to dinner and get gas. And I wasn't gonna let it sit in the hotel parking lot overnight. So. Burger Bach is eight minutes. You wanna go there? Sure. We're going to Burger Bach for dinner based on a recommendation of one of the guys that worked here. Hold this. Always buckle up for safety, folks. Super excited. This thing has been a, a process getting this boat and finally seeing it. And I'm overall satisfied. Are you? You better be more than damn satisfied. There's a, I mean, it's technically a used boat. The guy used it for like, the motor has 10 hours on it. Which way are we going? Left. He wanted something different. So, but it's in great condition. That engine, when that fired up, this is like a damn hot rod. It's like, <laughs> So that was awesome. Can't wait to get it home and get it on the water. We're gonna go eat, go to the hotel, go swimming, because that's all my son wants to do, and then get some rest, because we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow, and that's probably when I'll talk to you guys again. So, talk to you later. Are you excited? Mike, did you like our boat? Yep. You excited? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Here we go to pick her up. My new baby. Uh-huh. I thought it was a boy. Oh, it's a boy? It could be a boy, but I think it's a girl. I think he's a girl. Pretty though. I won't say a girl because I can't say he's pretty. Because that's a little funny. Never mind. The world we live in today can't make that kind of joke. But, anyways, here we are. She's right behind that door. So we're gonna back her in. And then go through the store and tell them we're here and yada yada yada. I'm about to take a nap. No, I need company. The only thing is, I didn't cut these short enough, so I don't know how well that's going to work, but it's going to have to. And then I'll cut them when I get home, but, but I cut four inches off of them. This apparently isn't enough. But there she is. She's sweating. Two twenty five. I got the perfect shirt on. I don't know if you can read that, but it says I hate pulling out of the boat. So now we are going to head home. It says it takes nine and a half hours. 
without a boat, without traffic. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. So we are back from Virginia. It uh, was supposed to be a nine and a half hour trip. Ended up being 12 hours. It was crazy. I didn't film anything. Um, we got home safely and everything. First stop, I didn't film because it was pouring down the rain. Second stop, I didn't film because we almost ran out of gas and that was the situation. And then we got home at like, well, it was 12 hours, so 10.30, like 10.30 at night. Uh, so we just put it in the backyard and went to bed. So this is about almost a week later, not quite today's Friday evening. We got home Sunday night, almost Monday morning. But uh, so I'm gonna take you through the boat now that it's home, give you a walk through and explain everything. So this is a 2021 Ranger VX1888WT or 1888, however you want to say it. WT is for the walkthrough windshield. My wife surprised me with this for Father's Day. Uh, she originally put a deposit on a 1788, which I did, you know, preferably didn't. If I was going to get a boat, I wanted the 1888, but it was real nice of her, and that one was blue. And then she was going to surprise me with that one. And then the day before Father's Day, this one became available. This one's the green. I love green. If you can't tell, my truck's green. The color of my logo is green. Green, green, green. Uh, and this one's the 1888, so it's a little bigger. She surprised me for Father's Day. Made me cry. And then, since this is t uh, 2021, it's a used boat. The guy that owned it before me had it for like six months put 9.8 hours on the motor decided that this boat was too much for him uh, there wasn't really anything seriously wrong like a couple switches didn't work and they said that the guy was trying to add lights to the boat and he messed with the wiring so they fixed everything everything's supposed to be working We'll find out. I haven't taken it on the water yet. Tomorrow's gonna be our first trip. So we'll be on the lookout for that video. But without further ado, let's introduce you to my new baby. So here it is. We got the Ranger Trail trailer with the swing tongue. Something weird is these are cables, not chains. I'm not used to that. It's not weird, it's just different. It's got the winch, it's got the step. We got the Minn Kota Tarova. This is the 36 volt, 112 pound thrust. It's got the pedal or the remote that they're mailing to me because the guy didn't turn in the remote, so they bought one and are sending it to me, which is nice. It has the um, what, navigation light port. It's got the Minn Kota puck. And then I'll show you the inside when we get there. Um, it's got a spare tire. Here's the cool green, like I was saying. The Ranger. Dual axle trailer. VX 188. 188. 1888. I keep saying 188. Another thing that's nice is it has these pop-up cleats. So they're not always up and in the way. I don't, you don't need them. It's got this plastic piece on the rail kind of gives it some beef it's dirty already because of pollen I gotta wash it we have the boarding ladder I got my actual ladder because this is how I'm getting in and out of the boat and then we've got this hunk of beef mercury 225 four stroke DTS digital throttle steering the best motor you can get on this boat. I'm extremely happy with that. One thing is that they gave me this transducer. This isn't the three in one, so I don't know what the story behind that is, but we'll show you the fish finders here later. It's got the boat buckles, which are nice because then that stays on the trailer. 
waterproof LED lights. It's got the four blade stainless prop. And when you fire this thing up, it sounds like a hot rod. When they did it in the shop, I just started smiling ear to ear. My wife laughed at me. Same thing down this side. I'm not going to walk because that's my garden. I don't want to get my feet dirty before I get in the boat. So I'm going to climb up this ladder. And we'll show you around. So the back. Okay, so that's the gas tank. Another pop-up cleat. The back deck is carpeted. I have three seat pedestals across the back as well as a ski pylon port. I do have the ski pylon that came with the boat. The back left, this lackable hatch, lackable, lackable hatch. This is the battery and the battery charger. So this is just the starting and the house battery. Locks. This is to keep the motor up while we're riding. So I'm going to get that out of the way. We then have on the left a jump seat, which I really like because then I can take these out, have more room in the boat to fish, and still have seating for people. These lift out, and they have storage underneath. I mean, it's not a whole lot of storage, but you can put something in there. Going this way, we've got the 20 gallon live well. This live well has an aerator built in, so I can aerate, keep the fish alive longer. I mean, I'm not really fishing any tournaments yet, but when I do, that would be helpful. Otherwise, I just keep the fish, eat them. We've got a ruler, so I can measure my catch, throw them right in. Two rod holders, two cup holders, tool holders, pliers and such. And then a little cup. We have this hatch here. If I can get this open. There it goes. You can put tackle boxes in here. Those plain old storage boxes, which I have a lot of them. So the main trolling stuff is going to be in here because this is where we're going to be working from. This is a nice fiberglass console over here. We have another lockable storage compartment. It does have a drain hole so that way if water gets in it, it goes through. We then have another jump seat. Again, with storage underneath. We've got the oh shit handle for the back rider. The oh shit handle for the middle rider. This one did come with this bimini top, which is really nice. It's a Ranger model or at least that's what they tell me I don't, I don't really know but this is real thick like it's a lot nicer than any other bending top i've ever seen so that's nice hopefully i can get my rod trees in here because i'm get yeah, i'm gonna you know me i'm gonna hook this boat up rod trees so that way we can still fish and be under the sun or out of the sun all right so over here we have lockable storage. This will hold three rods, and this is also where you can put your lights. So that's where they're going to hang out. We have four fishing seats. The back two are removable. I like the hinges on these because they're like tight. So they hopefully won't break. fishing seat and these are on air ride pedestals so that's nice you got the access hatch here you can see with the screws around on the starboard side here we have the old shit handle for the back rider for the middle rider and then we have just regular like storage you can throw things in there probably planer boards uh, sunscreen, you know, whatever can go in there. Up front here, main passenger seat does has this have this uh, Ranger track system in it, which is really hard to find things for. So I'm working on 
that has an shit handle for the passenger has a glove box that has the fire extinguisher in it has an infinity radio system for the bimini with a speaker there and a speaker under the driver we have a 12 volt socket we have usb charging ports we have a phone holder unfortunately my phone doesn't have fit in there because it's too wide i don't know what this was made for like this would fit but down here it won't so i'm gonna figure out something different with that cup holder and storage down here in this net in the middle this is i blow off a mosquito sorry another lockable storage place you can see it's got water in it because we got storm this is going to be our cooler so throw some ice in there some drinks sandwiches the worms etc on to the passenger side or passenger driver side first thing is the steering wheel you gotta remember how to do it you push that in you can move this up and down i know that's not a very good angle for you guys but you can do that we got the mercury smart craft gauges so these were upgrading gauges we've got the engine rpms the speed the trim the digital will show the gas tank etc and they gave me a full tank of gas which was pretty cool i thought because with gas prices these days that helps this does hold 47 gallons so that's yeah 47 times 4 is 160 plus 28 so almost 200 bucks in gas so that's good all right on the dash we have a Lawrence Elite FS9. Really excited about this. The original quote had the Elite TI2, which is an older model. I mean, nothing wrong with it, but it was an older model. And it would not work with the Active Target, which I want to get. So I was really excited to see those. We then have the other speaker. We have another hatch down there. Another phone fob holder cup holder over here this is where our usb ports are and our 12 volt socket we have the throttle so we got the trim this is digital uh, there's no cable which it's real there's like nothing here so you gotta be careful with that but i'm excited about it we have our kill switch we have our key, right? Uh, we have our switches. So we've got the horn, the nav lights, the anchor light, high wells and aerators, courtesy lights, the radio, the bilge pump. And I'm not really sure what these are. And they weren't really sure what they are. They think this is for the plugs, but I don't know. And they said this one has nothing hooked up to it. So hopefully I'll be able to get some underwater lights and hook it to that because green underwater lights with this sweet green boat is going to be awesome if you ask me so going forward we've got the cap plate seven people a thousand pounds we got to walk the windshield that i'm going to break because i'm not used to it pop that open So before we get to the front deck here, right here is rod storage. This will hold six rod and reels, maybe even more if you double them up. I don't know, we'll find out. And then under here, excuse my foot, that's my 36 volt or three 12 volt trolling motor batteries. This locks so that way I can keep those in here and not worry about it. That's where my trolling rods are going to go. And 
unless I'm just bass fishing or something. This deck does move up and down so you can get in there. It gives you the full deck here. We then have a lockable storage up front. That's a big tote. This is probably where all my tackle is going to go. I got to figure out that tomorrow before we go on our first journey. This is another live well. This one's smaller. So I'll probably keep minnows in this to use as bait. Or if I catch a bluegill and I'm catfishing, you know, put them in here so that way I can use them for bait later. Use put bluegill in here or something, a couple fish. But this is mainly gonna be the bait tank. We also have another lockable storage compartment. We have two rod holders on each side. These ones don't lock, but they just strap in. So total, I can hold six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rods. Is that enough? Probably not, but it's a lot more than my old boat. Up front here, we got the pedal. We got my wife whistling at me because you know I'm a stud muffin. We've got another set of switches, the lights. This is actually the motor trim, which is sweet because I can operate the motor from here. So if I'm using the trolling motor and I get up in some shallow stuff, I can just do that. And then this accessory, I can't remember what this was for. I don't know if they know what that was for. Trolling motor plug, tool accessories, cup holder. We got another Lawrence Elite 9 FS. And then the trolling motor. So that is the walkthrough of my brand new baby. My 2021 Ranger VX. 1888 WT WT uh, I, I got a steal on this boat like it's it was still a whole lot of money but it was a lot cheaper than a new one like half as much as a new one and the guy only used it 9.8 hours so we're gonna go on our first test ride tomorrow see how things go and then I'll video that and keep you guys all updated and whatnot. But I'm super excited. This is my dream boat. My wife came in big for me. I owe her big time. But it's just an amazing boat. Like I'm, I'm speechless. I love it, and I can't wait to use it. it. Sucks. It took so long to get it. it. Took two months before they were ready for us to pick it up. But and the drive sucked. But we went to Washington, D.C. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. And it was a good family trip. So if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.